my next task is going to be extending our power properly. Come on, let me through. So, on this corner, ideally with it facing this way, so we can have things mounted on it. Up to. And we need that facing upwards, so it's that way round. Get back up. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and the last one, ten. Essential that was. We had to have that. Because these are coming up off this floor. They're going to go up there. But first we want our heavy cable. How are you doing? That's very low. This is the. Oh, I'm getting tight on power in a minute, a moment. That's the trouble, it does get very tight on power. That's on red. Turn it off. How much you got in here already? You haven't got any, so don't. H E A V Dink. If that goes out, we we'll have to stick one of these little ones in to keep it going. I don't really want to run any more coal off. Well, we have got some, but we're we gonna want yeah about thirty to start with, and we've got enough there to make thirty-five left, so thirty-eight total. Okay. How's this doing up here? Coal's run out already. Mm. We'll stop that there because we're using a lot of power at night and we haven't got a lot of power at night. And we also want to go Let me throw you troubly little. Right. It just so happens that it took 20 to do that. It took 10 to do that, didn't it? Of course it did. And we're going to need to come this way. Over the top would be easier. Nearly. Right, so we're connected again. The reason for this heavy cable is the little thin red cable can take 5,000 watts. This heavy cable can take 50,000 watts. That one, and then we need that one there. Right. What's that on? 31%. No, I'm not going to do anything major. He says. And we search for solar panels again. Enough gold to make four enough copper to make three so iron and copper and we haven't got that there so how much copper have we got in here stick another 25 in there charge it up gold copper that will make a big difference no iron left in there oh that's nice we'll nick all of that out there That 
then leaves us with enough to make three panels without having to do any smoking. And pop. Turn it off. The other thing it needs, of course, is to turn the other end. So nearly there. Let's turn that off. Don't need to put any more in there. It's eighty percent. That's good. I think we will need this is that. And we're gonna swap that out. Put that there. We are gonna smelt that because we do need it. And there we go. Battery's still a bit lush, but there we go. That's what we need there. Chuck that in there. Yes, we got enough. There we go. That gives us seven of them. Then we're going to go back to doing the old heavy cable. I'm going to churn that out. I'm going to let it make a mess. Yeah, we've got plenty in there. Sort of. We will put a jetpack on. Hop up here. The last one we need up there is there, and then those two will go on that end. There'll be three each way for the morning and the evening, and four for the midday, which will give us a heck of a lot more power than we're getting at the moment. So let's put the glass on them. distance when they're stacking up like that. Patch is getting dreadfully low again. So we'll turn it off. All oh, this we can get connected up for the morning to better. Any morning. Right, cable. That will be a big bonus. We can rip these up and set them in place and clear that cable out of there, don't we? So let's drop down, pop that away, crowbar out for the glass. That was not 
predicted that one is so that's that these will be producing soon. That actually ran right out as well while we was up there doing that. So they're all done. We don't need the glass with this anymore. We do need seven cables so we've got one here so we need another six I think that's still not there it is now right and here we cable call just to make sure. Check back up. That has dramatically improved our power situation. And we've got one spare. Click. One spare power cable can go down there. That can go back in there. What car we got left there? Nine. Let's do our little check on the atmosphere. That pipe contains that atmosphere, it's now at minus 19.4, so it's come up 6 degrees since we first put it in. Get up that little stair, blink, and we're doing in that. That's fine temperature wise, so I'm not going to panic about it, it's not rising. But we haven't got the capacity to put 25 straight in. And of course it's now daytime, so we can't go splitting ice out in the open. But the atmosphere in our building. So if you go split nice in there, it will suddenly make. So what we need to do, grab our mining belt. We'll swap it out for our tool belt. Don't need our backpack over this. We will come down here. We plop. Nice little steep hill here. Not somewhere we're going to fall into it. We need the iron anyhow, so we'll do it here. Light on. How far are we? Should be enough. Let's just make ourselves a little. bigger area. The reason for that of course is if it does something like this a bigger area it's got more room to expand and less likely to be bashing us hard. Power low. So we now have a nice little room In theory, we should be okay to get this out. We are split in half. Can you shout about the filter? What is it? At? That's okay. We will make some more in a minute. Pick it up. Blink. Right off. 
daytime, you can, is that in the backpack it was, drag it from there to there without losing any. Turn that back on. And check our water. 78 moles. There we go, 76 moles. So that is pretty good now. Putting that ice into it dropped the temperature and therefore the pressure slightly. We've got room, I think, for the rest of that stack. We're about to find out. That could go pop. Of course, every time we do that with ice, it's putting gas into that room, bringing the pressure up in that room and therefore bringing the temperature down because the ice is cold so we got away with it, it didn't go pop, what have we got in there? oh that's nice yep that is nice 106 moles, that will last us a couple of days we can turn that off we can come around here and we can check that pipe, right, what have we got in there now? It's now down to 39% oxygen because there's now 58% nitrogen and increasing slowly. Temperature is still coming up. The O2 is at 2%. So if we just close that lot, not number 5, silly man, number 3. 138 kpk, that's nothing really, but we'll chuck it in anyhow. Move on, turn it off. We'll check that now. Does make a tiniest little bit difference, look. Just a little bit. There's still only 0.2 moles of CO2, but it's now counts it as a 3%. Has affected percentages slightly. But now that we've got power and some resources, we're actually going to be building out that way. What we need is we need to get a stack of iron smelted. Ideally, while it's daytime, so we can do it. And of course, don't should have done that earlier in the day, but we've got a chance that even though we're smelting because we now got ten solar panels up there, there's a chance that that will still charge up probably. Yeah, still taking more charge than it's putting out. And there we go. Nearly forgot to turn it off. Still need to do that because it's still very early days. And what we need now is iron frames. We'll check in here. No, no iron sheets left either. Better than that, can't we? We can. Uh, haven't done that yet. Dilly dilly. Those ones up. Actually, no, we leave those two down. We can put it out there. That's going to be much better. So, you want. Eight iron sheets. Done. SH iron sheets. 
Again, they're expensive. Right. Now we're starting to get a little bit more advanced. And proof of the footage. We're going to replace our arc furnace, so we need. Hmm. Don't really want to be taking it out of there. That one's already empty. So we have to do some more smelting. Well, we've got more iron in here, haven't we? This back in there because we don't need it out. And copper the other one here. Oh, we're running low on copper again already. Yeah, that was almost full, so it's not a problem. There we go. A lot of people when they first set these up, they put them on their side, usually that way around, so they can get out this chute. But the reality is, if you put them in a frame, like so. Two iron sheets, I forgot about that. Once four iron sheets in total, doesn't it? And we've only got four left. But if you put them in a frame like that, it pays dividends because it will hold heat and pressure. Why are you not using it? Obviously, to be able to use it, we've got to do more mining because we've got no volatiles yet. We found some over that way, I think it was. Yeah, I think it was that way. How's our battery looking? Not brilliant. Mm. 34%. Very not brilliant. liquid pipe. It's essential you connect it, but you don't have to use it. I say it's essential you connect it, but the system actually doesn't care if you connect it or not. If you don't put that out there ready to use, you can't drain off if you have to, without breaking the seals. Your pipe, pretty much the same really, we're not going to be using it yet, but we need to run that out to where we can get at it. Unlikely to actually get to the point where we are using it.